So this is the topology that I'm gonna demonstrate. In this topology, I have three ESXi servers. The first one has an IP address of 10, 10, 10, 10. Second one is 10, 10, 10, 11. And the third one is 10, 20, 20, 11. Notice that this ESXi server is separated from these two ESXi servers by a routed infrastructure. Traffic will be forwarded across the 8200 to the 5900 to the 5400 and then to this ESXi server. Now in this example, I'm using HP switches, but these switches could be from any vendor because all we need is IP connectivity from ESXi server to ESXi server. In addition, I'm also running a KVM server. This KVM server is connected to, to the right-hand side of this network, but it's gonna be integrated into our solution. Later on, I'm gonna show you an integration of a hardware VTAP using the 5930. This is a switch from HP. This switch supports OVSDB and supports VXLAN tunneling. This would allow us to send traffic from a virtual machine in the overlay network to a physical machine or bare metal PC connected to a physical switch. And I'll demonstrate that as well. But initially, let's look at the NewArge network product that allows us to have control of a virtual network overlaid across a physical network. In this case, multiple hypervisors are supported. On the NewArge Networks website, under Products, Virtual Services Platform, you'll see they discuss the Virtualized Services Controller, or VSC, the Virtualized Services Directory, or VSD, and the Virtual Routing and Switching Device, or VRS. These are the three components that make up the VSP solution from NewArge, allowing you to manage a single data center, but probably more likely multiple data centers, which can be separated by an IP network and advertised routes using BGP. So the VSC serves as the robust control plane of the data center network, maintaining a full per tenant view of network and service topologies through network APIs using interfaces such as OpenFlow, the VSC programs the data center network independent of data center networking hardware. I'm showing you a very large scale implementation of overlay networks using this product. This would be typically used when you have a multi-tenant data center and more likely with multi-tenant, multi-data center environments. The VSC serves as a policy business logic and analytics engine for the abstract definition of network services. Basically, it's a GUI, which I'll show you in a moment. Through RESTful APIs to the VSD, administrators can define and refine service designs and incorporate enterprise policies. I'll show you in a moment as an example how you can very easily deploy an ACL using this interface. Now the VRS is a module that serves as a virtual endpoint for network services. So it would be a VTAP on a VXLAN tunnel as an example. Through the VRS, changes in the compute environment are immediately detected, triggering instantaneous policy-based responses in network connectivity to ensure that the needs of the application are met. So this sounds like a bunch of sales information to me. Let's get technical. So the VSD is essentially a GUI. We're gonna run this as a virtual machine inside ESXi. It has a RESTful API, which means that you can interface directly to the VSD from something like OpenStack or another application. It programs the VSC or the SDN controller using XMPP. This is another virtual machine. The VSC programs the VRS using OpenFlow. So OpenFlow rules are automatically programmed down onto the VRS by the controller based on the policies that you define in the VSD. This product is complex, but once it's set up, you'll see that it will allow us to have multiple hypervisors separated by routed networks controlled through a GUI interface 
or an orchestration tool such as OpenStack, basically allowing a server admin to fulfill the role that was previously done by a network admin. So this is the VSD component. Essentially, it's the GUI or policy engine. Now, this is HP's version of Neuage Network's VSP, which they call the VSD. Basically, it's an OEM version of the Neuage Network's product. Now, my example, I only have a single tenant. You could have multiple tenants. A root administrator can control the policies of all tenants. A tenant administrator would only be able to manage their own network that's been allocated to them. Before we go any further, let's have a look at the setup within ESXi and KVM. 